His tattoo read Righteous Rage, a painful declaration across his arm. But his soul hid half the truth, because on his family, he'd inflicted much harm. Father, a fallen Black Panther, Black as night with self-hatred so strong. Mother, a half-caste prostitute and hustler, both an abuser and victim all along. His only full brother had clearly given up with six failed attempts of suicide. Passive-aggressive attacks on his mother, his hatred and pain not wanting to hide. He had a long, cursed bloodline filled with violence, deceit, and pain. Now rampant infidelity and incest has created the cycle again. Despite the clear and evident clues, everyone denied him being a psychopath. Most charismatic, extremely intelligent, with a most contagious laugh. He'd play on people's emotions and would present the perfectly shaded mask mimicking wisdom and authority, setting up his audience for the great task. In attempt for this narcissist to secure his supply, he even went so far as to work with the youth, providing consistent victims for his mind games, unsuspecting parents eagerly following suit. He used a number of mind control techniques like hypnosis and NLP. After mirroring and fishing for your hotspots, like putty in his hands, you'll be. To make things worse, he'll bind you to his incubus attachment so it can feed on your energy and suck you dry, bringing him a stream of abundance by being a covert spiritual spy. He did this to everyone he could, like it was a simple child's game, while racking up ridiculous karmic debt. One day soon, he'll be in shame. Abuse and lies seeped throughout the community. Many were violated and threatened to stay mute. But what is done in the dark always comes to the light. This universal law is absolute. A huge wave of shock will hit each person who knew this rage-filled man, now able to see that he was always an op, following a well-thought-out plan. How sad to disappoint everyone like this, and most of all, to let down himself, not taking the opportunity to build a dignified life, will not pay and will compromise his health. He said his rage was righteous, but in truth, that's an oxymoron. Anger is a healthy emotion, but rage is when it's too far gone. There's nothing good about untreated trauma. Shadow work is what this guy needs. But instead he prays and lashes out on others, relishing in dastardly deeds. Lying, stealing, pimping, abusing, while wearing the mask of a friend hurting others in a myriad of cruel ways, justifying everything with his planned end. Big and burly, but emotionally a child, screaming in turmoil on the inside, always in fear and suffering silently, having lost all his honor and pride. Yelling on a soapbox, but actually saying nothing, because it's really all about his ego, getting paid to attract and then snitch on his community, something very few would actually know. He's digging his grave by praying to demons, selling his soul 
for superficial things, amassing more wealth, power, status, and glamour, but experiencing the emptiness it all brings. I pray he snaps out of it soon and finds healing on his crooked path because he's only bringing destruction in now while Satan openly laughs. So much potential is all gone to shit now, all due to his family's deep neglect. Crimes were committed openly and regularly, demonstrating that they had no self-respect. Now, our children stand in the line of fire, taking on generations of hurt and pain, cursed by their father's sick mindset, a tarnished character with a permanent stain. How very tragic he made the wrong choice at the crossroads, because Eshu's preparing now to bring his tower. That will surely put him into serious overload finally humbled by the divine's awesome power. Just maybe hitting rock bottom will help him since he's repeatedly refused to course correct. A perfect example for those who are witnessing what one gives, one will certainly get. Mr. Rage has been known to throw tantrums with gaping emotional wounds that cut like a knife obviously missed proper parental support ever since his childhood and throughout his life. No one should live in a state of rage like this or a true bane of society they'll be, always focusing on what to fight or attack or how to pull others into their misery. Don't be a menace to society Get help. There's no shame in your making mistakes. However, letting negativity fester will ruin your life. So fix it, whatever it takes. We all have a choice of what emotions to choose. So be sure to be extra circumspect or you could lose everything like Mr. Righteous Rage forever circulating pure vitriol and disrespect.